All right, this video is gonna talk about discounting a um, interest-bearing note. And there's basically four steps to it. Um, we're gonna be calculating the interest and maturity value like we did last week. And again, this is an interest-bearing note, so um, different from the non-interest-bearing um, videos for this chapter. But we're gonna calculate the interest and maturity value as we did last week. And then we're gonna calculate the discount period because what this means is um, there's a situation, uh, if this is the time for the loan, so this would be the first day you get the loan and this would be the last day, um, part of that loan time is going to be held by you or the company, and part of that loan time is going to be held by the bank. Because what will happen at a certain point, you may get a promissory note from a company that says we owe you money, but they might not be able to pay right away. And so your product is already out there, but your money is tied up. Um, and so at some point you may need to take that promissory note to the bank and say, we're going to be getting this money, but we'll give you the promissory note and the bank will then um, take that note and give you the money that you've earned with interest to that point. And then the bank may charge you a certain amount for the rest of it. Okay. And so let's take a look and see how this works. Um, Oh, sorry, the third step would be to calculate the bank discount, which is how much they charge for holding the um, note for this amount of time. And then the proceeds is what you take home. All right, so an example of this would be, if we take that first example from the notes um, that says you sell the following promissory note to the bank, find the interest and maturity value, discount period, bank discount, and proceeds. All right, and the information that you have here is April 8th is the date of the note. The face value is $3,000. It's for 165 days. Interest rate is 9%. And then it has a bank discount rate of 8%. And then there's a date of discount where it's cashed in. Now, all of that information is important, and you'll see as we kind of go along here how that works. The first step, the first thing we're going to do is calculate the interest and maturity value. So like we did in the previous chapter, we're going to have interest equals principal times rate times time. And in this case, the face value of the note is $3,000, that's the principal, times the rate is the interest rate, not the bank discount rate, of 9%, times the time, which in this case is 165 days out of 360. So basically we'll calculate that all out, and we come up with an interest of $123.75. So this is your interest, which means your maturity value is going to be the face value plus this. So $3,123.75 will be our maturity value. So these two pieces of information is what we needed from step one. Now for step number two, this is where it gets a little interesting where we have to calculate how long you held the note and how long the bank held the note. So this is where some dates are gonna come in and you're, it's gonna be helpful if you have your calendar. So I'll just draw a generic timeline here. Um, and the date of the note would be our first date and that's gonna be April 8th. And then the f um, date that the, the date of discount or the date that it's cashed in is August 29th. Okay, now as far as the last date, it's not, um, super important at the moment, but we do need to know a couple of things. That this whole loan is 165 days. So what if, if we know the total amount of days and we know how long we held the note for, we can figure out how long the bank held, held the note for, and then we can figure out the cash discount. So 165 days, and what we need to do is refer to our calendar, okay, this sheet, and say, okay, April 8th is day... 98, April 8th is day 98. August 29th, August all the way at the bottom, 29th is day 241. And so if we just subtract 241 minus 98, we end up with 143. Now that 143 is not how long the bank held it, that's how long we held it. That's our distance between these two dates. What we can then do is say, all right, well, 165 is total. 
minus 143, and that gives us 22 days left that the bank will hold the note for. All right, so then that information we're going to take into the next question. That's step two, 22 days. So step number three is where we find the bank discount. And that's where we're going to refer to that, that new equation from this chapter. Bank discount equals maturity value times rate times time, where maturity value, again, is our answer from step number one, $3,123.75 times our rate, but it's our bank discount rate now of 0.08% times our time. Now it's again, only the time the bank held it, so it's 22 days out of um, 360. So when I multiply all that out, I'll end up with this number, 15.27166, blah, 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 which is going to round to um, $15.27. So what this refers to is the cash discount. That's how much we're paying the bank to cash the note in early. So step number four then is the proceeds. And proceeds is equal to uh, maturity value minus bank discount, which equals $3,123.75 minus $15.27 which equals $3,108.48. And that's how much you will get, or the company will get, if they cash in their, their promissory note early. They won't get the full amount, which would be $3,123.75. The bank's gonna take a chunk of that, so they get less.